Stitchers. I'm EJ. I'm Celia. And uh, welcome to our video about cross stitch. We are so glad that you've chosen to spend some of your time with us. Yes. And we hope that you <laughs> find that your time has been well spent. Spe correct. We hope you enjoy, maybe get a chuckle. Uh, yeah, all those wonderful things. Good mm -hmm. feelings. Good feelings abound. So first I want to start off by talking about our video from last week. Yes, thank you for the well wishes for those because yes. I, I was sick. I was not feeling well. Yeah, I even took Monday off. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> and then on Tuesday, I did not want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I started feeling much better Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, three or four loop. Well, you mm -hmm. get sick every year this time of year, and I, I don't think it's it's not a bug that's going around necessarily all by itself. Uh -huh. It's because you're stressed. And, you know, when you get stressed, how your resistance goes down. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I think that has a nice contribution to, to it. Yeah, because yeah. you get sick every year. Yeah. 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 Ish. It's yeah. okay. I mean, it's, it's what it is. Yeah. yeah. My body's like, or my mind, or both, is like, girl, no. Well, your body is constantly tensed and... Yeah. 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 It's like I was last week when you called and said you you were gonna not make it mm -hmm. and so I got to Deb real quick and mm -hmm. well we were already gonna zoom with Deb because she's getting over uh -huh. a bad bug mm -hmm. and not COVID but a bad mm -hmm. flu type bug. Mm -hmm. And that meant that I was going to we were gonna be zooming, which we were, but it meant that I had to edit. Yes. Now I wind up editing maybe twice a year. Maybe. Yeah. Twice a year. Yeah. So whenever I have to edit, it's like starting almost all over again. Yeah. I, I you know, I refamiliarize myself with the software. Yeah. How to maneuver things and do things. Plus the way you edit and the way I edit, two totally different ways. It's completely different yeah. software. And so it's completely different. Mm -hmm process mm -hmm. and um yeah so our video last week was literally postage stamp size i i went the hell I, happened on sunday I'm like, oh let me watch some sunshine stitchers <laughs> and then i'm like well that's interesting <laughs> like why is it so small there, there was a lot more black and yeah. i love black yeah <laughs> but there was a lot more <laughs> black <laughs> This Deb and I. <laughs> yeah, but then I pinched it. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good. And that's what a lot of people did. Yeah. A lot of people were able to just expand mm -hmm. it on because they don't. Now, I watch on my TV, so mm -hmm. I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, I was, oh my God, oh my God. But I was thrilled. Yes. Absolutely thrilled. Yes. It's because yes. I aligned our intro music with our opening and yes. our closing. Correct. I was very proud when I saw Thank that. I'm like, oh, there's music. Thank you. Because Congrats. usually what happens is as I'm trying to align the music to the photos. It never, I can't get it to work right. I just can't. So I just said, screw the music. Mm -hmm. There will be no music on the video mm -hmm. this week. It'll be up. But so, so I was successful. Yes. With the music. Yes. Down to the blip, blip. I was like, oh my goodness. I'm so happy. You did a good job. And I still have to figure out what happened with the sizing. Yeah. So that know. it was a postage stamp. But, but nevertheless, it was a clear postage span. Correct. It was a very good, yes. clear picture. Yes, no fuzz. Yes. So thank you, everybody who persevered and did the expanding. Yes. Um, good job. Thank you. I'm going to ask Deb the next time she mm. comes to please bring her Celtic banner because mm -hmm. you've got to see that full mm -hmm. size. I mean, you just have to see that full size. Mm -hmm. It is extraordinary. Just extraordinary. Are you gonna reshow reshow your your friend's pieces? 
Oh, one is on the wall, and one is which where right there. Everything on the wall is crooked. I don't understand. <laughs> Everything on the wall is crooked. Where? So on the third row, one, one two, two, three. three. That's it. That's the modern folk embroidery. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see, I see, I see, I see. And the ladies are sitting mm -hmm. in the rocking chair because uh -huh. I want to put it on the wall, basically over the television. Yeah. Next, but I've on got, top of the... Yeah, I've got yeah. to get do that. So got it. It's safely tucked in a rocking chair. That would drive me pillow. nuts. Everything crooked? Yeah. I can't. I can't deal. I don't... I, it doesn't bother me, yeah. obviously. No. So, because I would have to. I guess I, you know, there's a thing you could put. You could put um, the nail, but then you could also put like a something to hold it at the bottom. So it yeah, doesn't I shift. actually bought those. Oh, yeah, yeah it's almost like little Velcro. Yes. Pieces that yeah. you could put on the bottom to to it hold them in place. Uh -huh. But you know that requires getting mm -hmm. the step ladder. Going up, going down, mm -hmm. going up, going down. Yeah. I like this is well, that is why I don't have stuff. <laughs> the wall. Look, look at the audience we, again. <laughs> he's he's all prepped. Yeah, he's, he's oh, all this is what we're doing yeah, Saturday. Yeah, this, this is, is my doing. entertainment. This, yes. And he's licking his lips because he just ate uh, some dry food. So he's like, look at his chops. Yeah, we'll sit there and watch him fall asleep. Mm -hmm. So the answer from the last video, mm -hmm. uh, remember I was showing half the fun and we couldn't I couldn't remember the name of the little contraption mm -hmm. vehicle that goes up the hill. And mm -hmm. it was it's actually charted so it looks like it's chunking up steps mm -hmm. it's a funicular mm -hmm. so Thank it's you. a fun a funicular yeah it's a, a fun, fun vehicle vehicle <laughs> if, you, if you've ever been in one it is fun i i've been in i think twice well you have to go up you have to come down but i mean two separate occasions yeah i don't know about that and i i, I just have a smile the whole time but this is such a well first off the views are just massively extraordinary but you're just going chunk 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 up the i don't like heights it's, you would not enjoy yeah. it you would not enjoy it so <laughs> yeah that, that would freak me out <laughs> and then what if something it's the what if what if this happened what if this happened see i don't worry about that yeah because by the time it happens it's over i guess i mean that is that's true um i went to a merry-go-round before one of those slow ones those yeah eyes yeah the, the... it was and i don't ugh. I don't oh, like I love lights. those. But then when we got to the top and it and the thing stopped moving mm -hmm. and me stopped thinking that I'm going to mm -hmm. fall, you mm -hmm. know, because of screw loose. Okay. Oh, you were in a regular Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought you were talking about one of the um, oh, like the eyes? eyes, like the London mm -hmm. eye. This was a... <laughs> this one at Miami Beach. Yes. Not Miami Beach, but um, um, Bayside. Bayside. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one in Georgia, yeah. like in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. But this was a regular carnival. Oh. And, and I looked out and it was the night sky. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, mm -hmm. I, then I promptly closed my eyes. <laughs> and I yeah. like those eyes. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. The views from them are just yeah. spectacular. Yeah. Okay. So um, just a little bit to our prior video. We were talking... Before that, we've been talking about the fact that I leave my ironing board up all the time yeah. and use it as storage. I am not alone. No, you're not. I am not alone. And no. thank you, everybody. You're not alone. I am not alone. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... But you don't iron either, so... I don't iron either. So. <laughs> yeah, no. Get a credenza. You already have one. I already right? have one. Yeah. It's just, it's in a perfect spot. It's literally in the perfect spot for it. <laughs> I need a big enough closet to have my own ironing station. Yeah. That would be nice. That would be nice. I don't like to iron either, but yeah. just to have it there. You have one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right. So Are you do, ready? Uh -huh. Do you have any finishes this week? Absolutely not, do you? No. Okay. But do you have any starts? Yes, I do. Oh, <gasps> let's see your start. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I did start. I started 
on April 8th, because it's been a while, um, the solar eclipse, remember that was oh, the Oh, yes. I started Sun and Moon, Sun and the Moon by Stitching Jewels Design. I'm using Floche 725 and 318. Mm. Oh, nice. The purple and the yellow. Mm -hmm. That's not purple. <laughs> Sorry, the gray. The gray and the yellow. And I'm still. Well, and we decided that it was gray after the video. We actually looked at it on the DMC chart. Yeah. And it's it looks, I think it was have been the lighting. Lighting. It could have been the lighting because mm -hmm. it still looks purple now. Mm -hmm. It's the but lighting. But it's gray. Yeah. And I'm using a white 20 count. Mm hmm. And this is my start. See, I cut out. I didn't keep the whole fabric. Very good. So this is my start. Uh -huh. Well, I've got a, something that looks like that, too. <laughs> so this is the moon part. All right. Very nice. This is... Oh, it's yeah. the... It's this part of the moon right here. Mm-hmm. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. So you're it's doing nice. the moon in gray and the sun in and yellow. yellow. Correct. That's going to be spectacular. Thank you. That's going to be wonderful. I put a little up sign, but I don't need it because now I have a good start. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. one where you can tell. Yeah. 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 Very good. Where's your little up sign? Right here. Oh, okay. Oh, right here. All right. Very good. Up, up there. Oh. Very nice. So that's my new start. It um, fifty-eight stitches. Oh wait, and it's a whip. I started in the whip. I started it last week. That's okay. It's and my whip is one seventeen. So one seventeen and fifty-eight. That's the total number of stitches I have. Okay. For this piece, I have a start. Oops. When did you start? I started the 15th Century Medieval oh. Herb Garden by Liz Turner Deal. Oh, I was gonna bring out the others, but never mind. Uh, this is a kit uh, from a class that I took somewhere in the 1990s, I am positive. <laughs> uh, Dang, at a cross stitch, Spirit of cross stitch Festival. That's 30 years ago, yo. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. So the copyright on this is 1999. So I'm pretty positive she taught these classes right close to the dates that she finished the designs and got the kids together. Mm -hmm. uh, Liz Turner Deal. Uh, it's a 28 count natural linen. And it's the threads are Mouline Madeira. And... So that's what I'm saying. I have one of those starts. So this is my start. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's the full width of oh. the garden. Uh-huh. And uh whoop. Ah, there we go. Okay. I um right in here. Okay. Um, so this is the full width of the piece, and you'll see this little green bits in here. Is because as I got towards this section, we show you the picture, you'll see that there are leaves from a trellis that kind of come up into this border. And the start of all of these leaves right in here, mm -hmm. right in there. And all of those in that section, it's quarter stitches mm. and then full stitches. Mm -hmm. So you got a quarter stitch of brown, then a quarter stitch of green, mm -hmm. and then maybe and then a full stitch of ground brown. I mean it's yeah. So needless to say, I came all the way over mm -hmm. and but then on the way back I realized I had an error. So I had to take it the back side out and but this time in coming back over again, I decided to pull out 
the green and do the green stitches yeah. at when I came to them. Got it. So um, stitches or just, are you doing uh, one over one for the quarter stitches or are you gonna do quarter stitches? A quarter stitch is just a little, uh, uh, there's not a full stitch. It's not a full cross because it's mm -hmm. just over, yeah, like one thread. So it's just a half. And you do the direction, it's like doing a half stitch over one and you do it in the direction uh, Ooh. they're directional can I see uh -huh. the, I mean, it's hard to describe because it depends on the direction that dominant that color is dominant mm -hmm. so if you look you'll that's a quarter stitch over here Yes, so you'll see you'll have a brown and a green. Mm -hmm. So you might have a brown here mm -hmm. and then a green there. Yeah. And, when I, and then there'll be a, a back stitch or something mm -hmm. that'll come right through the middle. Sometimes it's a brown and green going in the opposite mm -hmm. direction. So mm -hmm. I do my quarter stitches one over one. Well, that's what they are. A quarter stitch is essentially a half stitch over one. Like a full cross, one over one. I don't do a full cross because you don't get the directionality. You, I've, I've mm -hmm. done that in the past, mm -hmm. and I don't feel you get, I get mm -hmm. the directionality mm -hmm. because the full cross obscures mm -hmm. this. So mm -hmm. if you've got a full cross here and a full cross there, mm -hmm. you're, you're missing that I can see where you're coming from with that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. And besides, it's one less stitch. Thing, that yeah, that you have to do. So that's my start on the 15th century medieval herb garden. And what's so nice, I know this is a really small picture, but what will be exciting about this as it evolves is that as you move, come into the garden at the bottom here, you come into the garden and then there's a fountain and but on each side are plantings of flowers mm -hmm. and the colors that she chose are reminiscent of specific flowers mm -hmm. and in the write-up of the piece she's telling you she tells you that the somewhere are roses some are other kinds of flowers so you really look at the detail you can actually sort of see a little flower bush here, another flower bush there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's gonna be exciting to see these come to, life. Come, come to life. See, when you look at the picture, see, look at yeah. the flower blooms. Mm -hmm. So that's a walkway. Mm -hmm. Very nice. This is full coverage on the side, you know? Yeah, but it's got that big open area. Yeah. Which, which gives it a chance of <laughs> actually getting it done. Alrighty. So what are your whips? <laughs> Sorry. I stitched on one dozen Quaker. Yay. So this is a stitch and button bag. Vicky stitch and button. You see that? It's a moth. Beautiful moth. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wait, is it a, is it a moth? That's a moth. I don't no, think it's a butterfly. butterfly. No. I think it's a moth. It's gorgeous. Very pretty. The inside is the yellow thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not yellow, but green. So I'm working on the April section. I'm working on the April set. So this is One Dozen Quaker by Rosewood Manor. And um, it's part of the hashtag make me a Quaker style where it is cut into 12 parts for 12 months, but the 13th month, you make sure you're finished by the 13th month. So it's a December to December sale. And where is April? April is right here. here. Yeah, so the two, five, and that medallion right here. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. two, five, the mm -hmm. two, the, the one over one's mm -hmm. over here, and then this. Mm -hmm. And then a peak of the three and this one. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. So what I worked on was I finished um, 
a portion of April and a portion of June. Mm -hmm. it's, listen, you just pick a box and you stitch that box. Mm -hmm. Or around the box or, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Well, once you have the thread and the needle, and Correct. especially with those um, motifs, you want to... Why stop? Correct. Yeah. So I finished... Oh, how pretty is that? Thank you. I finished um, this motif. Mm-hmm. Um, I went down mm -hmm. the border, mm -hmm. I stitched the two, mm -hmm. and I did this one over one. Nice. Nice. Thank you. I've been looking, you know, in the Facebook groups. So that's, you've done a good job on your one over one. Thank you. Oh, getting Thank the hang you. of it, huh? I am. It's not so taxing. It's not you. so bad. It's not, I was talking to Candy while I was doing it. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to do the two because it's two over two. Mm -hmm. And then I had like a little bit of thread left. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I might as well take one of the mm -hmm. thread and start mm -hmm. doing the one over one. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I did the one over one. <laughs> yeah, I think once you figure out your process, mm -hmm. what you're comfortable with, mm -hmm. um, so that you don't run into the, the thread falling mm -hmm. in problem yeah um because i know for me once i figured out a technique mm -hmm. that was comfortable mm -hmm. it, it just Becomes made it so much easier. easier yeah and it took a long time for me to figure that out i've fumbled around and i'm still i'm still trying to figure it out like mm -hmm. someone like i just have to you know with using my nail or using the end of the <laughs> end of the the needle i just scooch it over or something and i remember okay i have to go you go underneath underneath the, the, the Wrap it. The thing, yes. Wrap it, it from be behind. Yeah. And sometimes just, I remember, sometimes I don't. Okay. It, it, yeah. Yeah. I have to wrap it from the behind. Yeah. 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 Or if it's this way, go that way. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's getting there. So I have the number five, which is going to be under the two. Mm hmm And I have a, a, a motif here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the, the three is going to be underneath this motif. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be right here. Mm-hmm. Um, Candy already started the June because that's heavy yeah. stitching. Yeah. That middle part, mm -hmm. that's that heavy stitching. So you were talking about... This way we're here. Oh, over here? Yeah. The... I can't see. The number two? No. Talking about the five. The five underneath the, the two. Yeah, yeah. the five... Underneath the two, you did that little motif there. You started into this motif here. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, I'm gonna. St I'm gonna. When I pick it up again, I'm gonna work on that motif. I mean, you have so little left. You might as well do the whole. Thing. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do the whole thing. Oh okay. And then you've got the start of the, the three, three, and which then I'm other. gonna do the three. Yeah, and then you could do half of this one. Correct. If you want, yeah. we'll just continue it. Mm -hmm. Is it one over one or no? It's not no, even so over, it's over two. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you. Good progress. Thank you. So the watching in our Facebook group is people are posting pictures of their progress. Yes. So, so pretty. pretty. So, so pretty. yeah, it's really nice. So that is it for me. Excellent. Oh, that was it. That's oh, it. Okay. I didn't get a lot of stitching in. No, no. That's to be expected this time of year. Yeah. And lot. not feeling good on top of it. Yeah. So that's all right. But I mean, I'm glad you picked one dozen Quakers. Thank you. <laughs> this is one that I've been working on for a while. But as is all of my whips, they're all been around for a while. This is Leela Studio Nevermore. Yay. I'm doing this on Picture This Plus Sprite in 36 count. And um, I'm using almost the call for threads. Almost. Yeah. Because I may, I, I could not get this call for color something like Lagoon. I don't know if that was right, yes. but something like Lagoon. And when I went to match uh, with something else, I looked at the wrong dye makers Lagoon. With Lagoon. Correct. So this is a very different color, but I kind of like mm -hmm. it. Well, it is what it is. Anything with blue you like. I do. And uh, I'm working on this <laughs> huge Sorry. motif. 
I mean, let's see. Which one? Why do I keep putting the thing out right here? here? This motif right here. Yes, the brown one? Yeah, that okay. one. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That this motif right here is what I'm working on. You're almost done with it. Almost done. I did get quite a bit of stitching done that day, but it's a big motif. So I almost finished it. I just ran out of steam and just didn't want to screw it up by yeah. trying to push push it. And I'll be back, you know. So you were doing lagoon and then that motif back and forth or something? Like this blue lagoon, this lagoon is not done. One, two, three, four. No, when I picked it up, this is what my eye went to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. I went here. It mm -hmm. didn't quite go there. It went here. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, so I like it. It's a very pretty motif. Very pretty. And you'll notice these bats up here. They mm -hmm. are actually um, two over two. Two over two over two, as opposed to one thread over two, while the rest of it is one thread over two. It's thirty-six count. Thirty-six count. Because I forgot. And then once I did one, I decided I liked it. So mm -hmm. I decided to continue to do the rest of them like that. Mm -hmm. I picked up Around My Friends. And I believe I'm doing the Summer House Stitch Works design. This is a collaboration between Hands On Design, Ink Circles, and Summer House Stitch Works. And I'm, I'm working on this one. It's the last of the three that I have to do. And I do believe it's the Summer House Stitch Works contribution. Uh, this was an exclusive originally to Acorns and Threads and a friend of mine, Holly, um, gifted it to me. And I started this in October, 2021, because I actually wrote down the date. It's on 36 count platinum by Zweigart and it's using Gloriana Silk Threads. And I've actually made quite a bit of wow. progress. I did some fill in on this leaf and started down in these two leaves and some of the little bits and bobs uh, coming around the, the wreath. So yeah, feeling pretty good. So again, this is, this is what it will look like yeah, yeah. this is what it will look like and that's where I am the colors are so brilliant They're very nice very nice around my friends so do you think they designed it like let's say like you know when they sit and chat and they mm -hmm. started like let's design something and mm -hmm. they just sit around and design something mm -hmm. with the same colorway well how nice because yeah yeah, well, yes, because it's all the same mm -hmm. set of threads. Mm -hmm. um, and it was the, all three designs. It's just one skein of each color mm -hmm. for all three designs. And, of course, they come up with a theme. Mm -hmm. And it was acorns and threads exclusive. Mm -hmm. So it was all about leaves, oak leaves, and birds, and acorns. Very pretty collaboration. Autumn Quakers, which was my Whipco call for this month. So it got three days. This is the most attention I think it's received since I started it. It usually gets a one day rotation. So this got three days this month. I know. Autumn Quakers is by Rosewood Manor. Um, it's on 36 count colonial parchment fabric by Stephanie. And I did a Victorian model sampler conversion. I am working along the bottom here. Now I've come down, yeah, this side and I'm working on the bottom and I've done a chunk at the top. So I pretty much have like this mm -hmm. to do. So I'm working my way across the bottom. And Good job. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I've come across here. I did this. Um, I had a page finish. 
I did this little motif here. I finished the basket of blooms, um, which started on the page and went to a, the, the next page. So I'm actually working over a page right now. Um, this was, I believe, because I still had the color in my needle. So I went on and did a little bit more on this little motif here. And then I came up here again because I had the thread color in the needle and decided to do some more. And I actually think I put in another strand since it was going so well. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, so made the three days made a lot of wonderful progress on this. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to finish it this year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I can. <laughs> if it's you do three lot. days a month. Yeah, I'm not going to do three days a month. It's too much. That's too much of a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's because with everything else that I want to do mm -hmm. and have to do, uh, it's too much. So because I got two other whip go, every month I've got two whip go calls. That's already six days. Uh-huh. And then to do this and that would be nine days. Uh -huh. and, but then I have so many other pieces that I want to. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Your months be packed. I know, but I it I feel like I'm losing choice. Yes, random choice. Yeah, because I've I've committed to to autumn quarter. Yeah, I mean, if I do finish it, that'd be wonderful. I, but I'm making such great progress. Just mm -hmm. yes, having right. it on Whipgo. Yes, and and it might be that I put it on Whipgo again next <laughs> year, but maybe put it on more than once. Mm -hmm. You know, so how many times did you put it on this Whipgo? I think I'll come back to it one more time. Yeah, okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Another Rosewood Manor this week. I worked on Seaside Sampler. This is another one that's been around for a while. Uh, this is worked on a 30, I do 36 count, 36 count opalescent uh, by Zweigart. It's mm -hmm. sort of white, sort of not. Um, <laughs> it's not a bright white. No. It's white-ish. White-ish. And that's what she wrote. Yeah, white-ish. <laughs> I'm using the called for Treenway Silk Threads. So that's the picture. So I am working here in this corner on these manta rays. Now, the first one kicked my butt. Yes, it did. The second did. one... Not a problem. Yeah. I only had to take it out. Take a small <laughs> bit out. So then take it out twice. <laughs> yeah, this one, the first one. <laughs> Lazy, Lazy. I was beginning to think that was going to be it. But the second one Ooh. just went right in. There was only one little bit that I had to take out. And it was only maybe 12 stitches. Mm -hmm. I mean, it wasn't. That's I, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So it doesn't look like a lot. But trust me. <laughs> Look at how, see, there's the first one. It helps if it's right side. I was trying to think, why the signal flags on top? Uh, so that was the first manta ray right here, and this is the second one. So I'll be working it over here. The next time I pick it up, I'll actually... Those things are huge. They're huge, yeah. And that's just one color. That's just one color, yeah. Yeah. Those things are huge. But it's 36 count over, you know, working one strand over two, mm -hmm. and it's a dark color. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not filling them in. I'm doing the dominant color. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm not filling... I'll come back, and when I pick up the fill-in color, mm -hmm. I'll fill in all four of them at mm -hmm. one time. So I will too. I'm really focusing on this one dark blue color here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a big, it, it actually is a big chunk yeah. of the chart. You can see right there. Mm -hmm. It's a big chunk of the chart. But, woo! I, I was a little like, uh, okay, here I come. And then once I realized I was just flowing with it, I was like, oh, okay, this is not bad. Mm -hmm. This is not bad. Another oldie. This is my week with the oldies. <laughs> Remember sweating to the oldies? Yes. <clears throat> Dimensions Gold Collection. This was my other Whipco call for this month. So I've completed my Whipco calls. This 
This week was the third day for each one. Both, both of them. Yeah. yeah. So this is Dimension Gold Collection Aurora Cabin. It was a gift, a, a kit, and so I'm using everything that was in the kit. And I actually moved the Q snaps. Oh, this, yes, you did. This went on the Q. I've been working on this for years, years, and I, I, it's been in the same Q snaps. And it was in the same position, so it, it didn't do bad considering you can still, you know, you can mm. see marks and stuff, but mm. that's okay. I uh, work brought this the top of this tree all the way up, which is why I decided to move the cue snap. Mm -hmm. Brought the tree all the way up and filled in the top of the tree and came down with the same color, and and so whatever this color is, it's filled in all, all in this tree and if it was anywhere else I filled it in so yeah someone suggested when Deb and I were talking about this last week that I not do the sky but the sky is the is the is the is, is critical in this piece. oh wait so you have to stitch the sky yeah what these blues yeah so the what? Yeah, but they're half stitches. <laughs> 3,000 half stitches is still 1,500 full stitches. It's okay. Still a lot. Yeah, yeah. I wow. still have all the background trees behind the cabin here. So wow. I'm just working on this. <laughs> it's a lot. This it's, is not compute. <laughs> yeah, this, there's a lot of work. And I am, you know, I am very content to have this as my only full coverage piece ever in my life. Mm -hmm. I'm content with that. I'm good. I'm good. Mm. I'm enjoying it. Looks good. Yeah. Once I got over, I think I felt bogged down initially when I got into the trees mm -hmm. because of all of the confetti. Mm -hmm. It was very overwhelming. But now I've become one with the confetti. One with the overwhelm. I've had a mind meld <laughs> with the confetti. It's okay. It's getting done. Uh, and it's not so bad. It's not. <laughs> so. That's so bad. A Rory cabin. And my, is this my last whip? Yes, my last whip for the week. Oh. Autumn Garden by Samplers Not Forgotten. Mm -hmm. This is a um, uh, 32 count. I don't know what it is. And I'm using a uh, call for gentle arts threads. And there's my progress. I finished the words here, out here. I didn't have undone completed before. So because of the placement of the Q-snap. So where I put it on the Q-snap this week, I positioned it so I could focus on this side. So I finished undone. I did the leaves and the acorn. I finished this uh, little green border here. And I worked the words backwards over to where the Q-snap. I ran out of Q-snap. But I don't have that much more left to do here. And then I start getting to the really interesting mm. part of this. Mm. Not that the rest of it has not been, but I've got the big bird and the pumpkin here, uh, these sunflowers and this uh, section of um, specialty stitches in here. Very pretty. There's the bird, there's a bird. There's a bird on a pumpkin, big bird on a pumpkin. It's big. Big bird. It's going to be there for a while. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on that pumpkin for mm -hmm. a while, too. White pumpkin? White pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Are you yeah. going to use cloche? Oh, that's an idea. Mm -hmm. I'll see what color it is and see the difference it makes. So, yeah. There we go. Autumn Garden. Sampler's not forgotten. So, I'm really happy about my whip progress this week. It's very good. Thank you. Do you have any whoops? I mean, uh, any acquisitions? Actually, I do. 
and stitchy kindness. Oh, nice. I got my color and cotton mm -hmm. um, fabric. It's a surprise to us all. Oh! Oh my God, that's a bright color. That is a bright color. What's the name of this color? What would I stitch on it? Flamingo medium, a oh. 32 count flamingo medium. Wow. What would I stitch on it? It's so pretty though. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's so pretty. It feels nice. That would be great for a um, modern folk and modern folk and <laughs> or anything like an ink circles mm -hmm. type deal mm -hmm. on black, mm -hmm. not just black, but maybe a forty nine like like the the thirty ooh that dark 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 gray. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty. That would be pretty. Very nice. Very nice. I like it. I'm sure I have something. That I can use. Mm -hmm. Also, on Tuesday, you know I had to go to work on Tuesday. And I was miserable. It was such a bad day. It was such a bad day. Friday, Tuesday was a bad day. Not filled with good news? Not, it's just, Challenging. I wasn't feeling well. And then, ugh. As soon as I walked in the building, I'm like, I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> but not, it's, it's not because of the people or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I was not feeling mm -hmm. well. And I had to get things done, but, um, but when I came home, I saw this big package. I'm like, who is this for? I'm like, oh, who is this for? And then I said, oh, it's for me. I said, who sent me something? Thank you, Kate. Oh, how nice. Um, half of Fickle Stitches. Mm -hmm. Um, she surprised me. So sweet. Thank you so much. And I texted her. I'm like, listen, this, yeah, it came out a good day. Oh, good. I was not feeling good. So, Great timing. Yes. So. <gasps> oh, how know. pretty. Oh, so how got a pretty. Bag. Oh, look. Oh, nice. Yes. I love the color. It feels so good. Oh, it's nice. Yes. Um, I don't know who made it. I don't know if she. I don't know if she sews and makes bags, but there's a little bag in there. Oh, oh, nice. A little bag to go in there. Oh, that's nice. And so, and then she she had a little note, a nice little note, and the note made me feel so happy. <laughs> <laughs> like it made my day. It really did. Thank you so much, Kate. Um, fickle stitches if you've not seen oh they're almost at 500 subscribers oh nice yes so please go go see them and subscribe to them it's um kate and cheryl um they have all sorts of like you know two people like we have a variety of what we're stitching they do too um kate tends to stitch the bigger things and but you will see progress Oh, unlike uh, anybody, <laughs> right? I'm like, whoa! And she's like, yeah, I got it. In, I got it in my head to finish something. I do too, but it takes me years to finish it. <laughs> For her, a couple of weeks. Oh wow! Um, and then Cheryl, she has a lot of um, small, smaller projects, but she has the. There's one with the two cardinals with the. Um, with the blue background, it's gorgeous, mm. gorgeous. And she's stitching like lots of um, smalls, the, the little house needleworks, cause she wanted to, she started 50 things for her 50th year oh, of, on earth. Okay. Yeah, so that's amazing. Like the, the, the logistics of it all mm -hmm. is amazing mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. because um, I'm struggling trying to kit three things. Mm -hmm. I have the stuff. It's just putting them together too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Anywho. Fickle Stitches. Go ahead and um We'll have a link them. in our description below. Yes. So so this is one bag. I'm, like, I'm going to have to put something special in this. And then. Oh. 
This is another bag. How nice. It has perfect for it's perfect for wine. <laughs> uh, but or anything. It has um Harriet Tubman, George Washington Carver, Rosa Parks, Ida B. Wells, um, Madam C. J. Walker. Um, it's it's their little portrait. Very nice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Thank you again. Thank you, Kate. Thank you again. It it really made me. It was very thoughtful of you. Very timely. Yes. That was very good. That's it for me. Okay, yes, I have no acquisitions because I'm saving up. Yes. I'm going to be at a retreat next week, the um, Spring Fling 2024. Spring yes. Fling, in, which is an annual Florida event. It is a, don't, don't even go there, designer, <laughs> um, designer class type yeah. retreat. And our designer guest this year is Jeanette Douglas, which I'm ex extremely happy about. And um, so I'm just, yeah, it's very excited about that. Okay, so what about plans? Oh, plans. Your plans are to get done whatever you get done. Yeah, my plan is to continue working on One Dozen Quaker. Today I wanted to work on, what do you call that thing? Um, Star Dragon. Mm hmm But we'll, you know, I, I have it, it's on my Lowry. Mm-hmm. Ready and my sauce okay. is out, mm -hmm. so it's ready. So whenever I get home, um, did you hear my knee pop again? No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, Star Dragon, a little bit of that. Um, I do want to finish my one dozen Quakers for April. For April, and then um, yeah, because we'll be back May, the first Saturday in May. So. Yes. So I'll have two weeks worth of sale. And then, yeah. This is a horrible month for stitching. <laughs> for me. This is a horrible month. I've stitched three days. That's okay. Four I mean, days. You know, it's... And I did my taxes! Yeah. <laughs> I did my taxes on Sunday. The 14th. The 14th. There you go. Gold Turbo Tax. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to do My sister called, and she said, have you done your taxes? Sure, surely. I said, no. She's like, you know it's due tomorrow. I'm like, oh. So I had to get up out of my sick bed to find my W-2 somewhere. See? And that's yeah. what, that's what. <laughs> yeah. Procrastination. <laughs> you could have done it when you were healthy. Yeah, I, yeah, I could have. <laughs> so I That's know, my plan. I know. Yeah. But, yeah. you know. Um... So today I'm going to work on another oldie, La Neige et Montagne. That's a mm. Madame Chantilly, Chantilly. Oh, you know who's stitching that? Um, Dina, half stitch cross stitch. Oh, okay. Yeah, she she's is probably stitching that, much and she's not further along than is I am. she. I'm sure she is. Oh. I keep thinking I'm further than when I pick it up and look at it. I'm uh -huh. like, damn. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good number of stitches. Yeah. But she's not doing the words. It's like you're not doing the yeah, words. In she's the not sky. Doing, mm -hmm, yeah. She's not doing yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the medieval herb garden. Mm -hmm. I will have a new start. A Jeanette Douglas my stitchy box. I think was a March release last year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I go to the retreat, I'm going to bring um, uh, B Hollander with me. Because it's okay. a nice, easy, comfortable stitch. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring that with me to work on when I'm not working on the class piece. Yeah. And I will pick up before the end of the month my necessity and I will come back to Medieval Garden oh, okay. one more time. Yeah. My stitchy box, I usually like to do three days on a new start, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm only going to get, it'll get two days. Mm -hmm. um, so it won't get the third day. And that's all because I'll be gone mm -hmm. like half the week next week. So, so those when are my when plans. When are you coming back? Sunday? Come back Sunday. Mm -hmm. And then Monday. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. 
So those are my plans. So I will have some whips, some something, and some new starts to show next time. Oh, yes. Alrighty. And plan, uh, announcements. Announcements. Okay, announcements. We have our winners. We so oh, I forgot to remind you. Yes. Did you happen to? I did. Okay, I just forgot good. to write it down. Oh. I mean, no, I pulled it. What are you talking about? C. Yes, I pulled it. I wrote it down, and then I was transcribing it to to neatly. You know, mm -hmm. nice neat. I forgot to add that one. You know who it was? Yes, I remember. I had it. Okay, I wrote it down now. All right. Well, let me. Let me do a little rearranging because a little shifting. Yeah. So I just, so as you all know, we're doing a huge giveaway over the course of this month and into May and possibly into June. <laughs> yeah. Every every uh, video we will have several packets of charts and other items as giveaway items. Mm -hmm. I didn't write them down. It's mm -hmm. all, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the other room. And um, so last week when we were announcing, Deb and I were announcing the winners from the week before, we realized we did not have the winner for C, which was several hands across, across the, the C charts. Mm -hmm. And so the winner of C is Julie in Stitches. Congratulations, Julie. Is it Julie and the letter N? No, it's Julie <coughs> and the word Sorry. N. Okay. And then the word stitches. She has a floss too. Okay. Julie in stitches. <coughs> Congratulations. There was 172 comments. You okay? Mm -hmm. There was 172 comments and Julie in stitches uh, comment was selected. Excellent. Okay, and so, so Julie, I will leave you a comment on your comment uh, to please email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. And I'll just ask you to include a little something something to let us know that you're you and, and not a fictitious person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so nice. let's do the other winners from last week. Correct. Um, the bag that she has in front of her is linen. So a whole bunch of linen um, pieces. And with 75 comments, the comment chosen was from Ann Ludzak, A-N-N-L-U-D-C-Z-A-K-5434. Ann Ludzak. Okay, look for the comment. And Ludzak. Okay. I said it right? It was yeah, that's the way I would pronounce mm -hmm. it. Okay. Next. The next is blue. Oh, okay. The next is blue with 65 comment. Francis Harrington. 4898. Francis. <laughs> we know Fran. Yes. yes. And what's the number behind it? Uh 4898. Oh my goodness. Well, yes. Fran, I'm not going to bother to leave a message because hopefully I'll see you Tuesday. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tuesday Zoom. Oh, how wonderful. Yes. <laughs> Next, we have Lace, Lace with 68 comments. Betsy Nolan. Oh, Betsy. Betsy Lo Nolan. Nolan. Yes. Congratulations, Betsy. Betsy so, Nolan. Betsy, look for our comment. Mm hmm. Next, we have the word flip with 47 comments, and it's Mrs. Miggins. Oh. You know Mrs. Miggins? Yes. 6435. Mrs. Miggins, congratulations. Oh, nice. Okay. And then we have our last one with house. House. Um, with 98 comments. Congratulations. Terry Brown, T E R R I Brown, twenty seven eighteen. Congratulations to the, our six winners. Maybe. Okay, yeah. wonderful. Okay, winners. so congratulations. <clears throat> so tomorrow I will leave a comment 
on your comment asking, it'll be just very simple. Please email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. All righty, so we do have, so because we will not be filming next weekend, correct? we're going to call new projects this week, <clears throat> But we won't be announcing the winners for two weeks. Correct. And when we come back. When we come back. So you need to make sure that you are responding to episode 275. Mm -hmm. This week's drawing is for episode 275. <clears throat> and and I, I want to always remind people because... We will only search that episode for our keywords. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't have. Um, I didn't do the, the the keywords. I just realized that because That's fine. We'll do it. I was so focused on all the other things that was happening this morning. I had a very busy morning. Yes, we did. Okay, so i um, oh show. And then we'll come up with a word. Okay. Our first packet is a, a seasonal packet and includes a variety of holiday charts. There is Christmas. That's uh, uh, Judy Whitman, JBW. Mm -hmm. A Kesslin's Wedding. Prairie Schooler Santa. I know people like Prairie Schooler Santa. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's not be the keyword Santa. Okay. Do you have the thing or do I have the thing? I have it. I'm oh, okay. It Santa. Uh, from Nancy's Needle, <clears throat> Winter Snow Much Fun. Those are cute. Hair Season Spring. This is Primitive Hair. Plum Street Sampler Polar Pack. How cute. Yes. Learner's Permit. <laughs> Rosie and Me. That one's cute. That's a Halloween theme. Uh, Stony Creek Hocus Pocus. Uh, Satsuma Street Fa La La Lama. <laughs> it's really nice. And then uh, an extra one. <laughs> Golf. <laughs> this could be seasonal. You sure? In the in the spring and summer and fall. I yeah. Mean, unless you live down here, at which point it is all year, but most Correct. places golf is a seasonal activity. So the key word for that pack is Santa. Santa. The next is a pack of even weave and you know we'll just make that the keyword even weave um and it's uh i don't know what the yard counts are I, but one of them is really pretty it's a printed fabric look at that i thought that was very look at that Oh, well, that's pretty. It's, it's for something. Yeah, it was for something. I forgot what. Yeah, so um, there you go. That's a nice one. We have some black. There's some black. Um, there's some um, easy, easy uh, count. Easy count. Thank you. Twenty-five count. Yep. Uh, a twenty-eight count ivory. Zweigart. Mm -hmm. Another Zweigart uh, 28 count in lavender swirl. Oh, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Mm -hmm. And a black, a piece of black. It's a nice size piece of black. All of these are nice size pieces of fabric. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that is even weave. One word. Yes, one word, even weave. The next packet is a packet of fancy ladies. So 
So let's just use the keyword ladies, okay? <clears throat> plural form, hmm? Plural form, plural form ladies. And these are mostly Laura Corbett and Mirabilia. I give you the hard job of getting them back in. <laughs> I remember when I got them all in these, I was thinking, I don't want to have to take these back out again. Yeah. Want me to take them all? You go ahead. And okay, go. so this is a Mirabilia, the Christmas Elf Fairy. Nora Corbett Winter Hair. Not exactly a fancy lady, but it's Nora Corbett. Nora Corbett Aquarius. Nora Corbett Winter Nest. That's cute, I like that. Nora Corbett Winter Owls. Like she must have done a series. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Nora Corbett. Is that Nora Corbett? That's no. Mirabilia. Mirabilia something. What's her name? It doesn't say. Oh. I don't know. Lady of Mystery, I think. You see? It says something of mystery. Yeah. I think that's Lady of Mystery. Yeah, something of mystery. mystery. I don't know if you... Yeah, we can't see the name. Yeah. Yeah, we can't see the name. But there she is. If you like Mirabilia, you, you probably... Yeah. You probably know who it is. Yeah. This is um, Nora Corbett, Red Puppy. This is Christmas Eve Courier's Cupid. Christmas Eve Courier's Dasher. I've seen people do these in some gorgeous ways. Christmas Eve Courier's Donner. Yeah. Now, these are just charts. They are not any of the beads or anything else. No. <clears throat> and the key word for that is... Ladies. Ladies. We have... How is this here? How did I... Oh. really secured this bag. Oh, I think because I put them in here and then they fell out. I was not in the mood. <laughs> so I taped it together. <laughs> uh, this is a Country Cottage Needleworks. A uh, keyword on this is cottage. And this is uh, the Cottage of the Month series. January, and I believe it's the entire series. February. March. April. May. June. July. August, September, October, November, December. So that's the full year of the Country Cottage Needleworks December, uh, Cottage of the Month, rather. Cottage of the Month. And then, um, because they were small, also will include homespun elegance, uh, heartfelt samplers, my friends, always there. Something like that. Smalls. Twisted threads, itty bitty Irish. Heart in hand, we, W-E-E -E, stitch. And 
uh, Rejoice by Sunspots from the Friends of Threads of Gold 2000, yeah, Friends of Threads of Gold. There it is. So, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Once I got that in there, I was like, okay. I had to do one at a time. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was Cottage. Cottage. So that's a nice little pack. And it will come to you. In a nice pack. Well, she's working on that. Oh, it's that. that. Um, we have some holiday hoopla, July 4th. We have Lindy Stitches, a, a Stitch for Sweet Freedom. Sign? Oh, sign? It was yeah. a signed one? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be on that one. No, no I'm sorry, no. I didn't realize. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ta-da. <laughs> there you go. There you go. A unsigned. Unsigned. <laughs> a stitch for sweet freedom. Yes. We have Star Spangled. And I have that done. And I'm going to take this and put it oh, on the back. Oh, nice. Yeah. By Threadwork Primitives. We have Freedom. Yeah. By um, Tempting Tangles. No, I want the yellow. Oh. We have white willow stitching. <laughs> this is a tribal football helmet. I'm laughing because my note obviously was an appetizer. Oh, so for somebody. <laughs> for somebody. <laughs> you can see the teeth marks yes. on the bike. <laughs> and then we have um, Justice, no, is it? Liberty and Justice for All by Summer House Stitchworks. We have Trains, Book 17 by Pucker Brush Inc. High Ballin'. <laughs> High Ballin' Trains. Very Americana. Mm -hmm. And we have Urban Dinosaurs. There we go. There you go, by Pegasus Originals. And the key word for this group is Liberty. That's right. So that's a nice patriotic grouping of charts. Mm-hmm. And the keyword is liberty. Liberty, liberty. Just leave it with me. Okay. You can go for it. And the last chart for this week, this includes. Okay. This is quite a nice little combination here. This includes uh, Paula Vaughn. Uh, through a mother's eyes. A uh, a couple of Disney uh, charts. So if you like Disney, the keyword on this is going to be Disney. Can you change the name brand? I'm not doing name brand. Oh, not doing name brand. Okay, let's see what comes up. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this one, Tinkerbell. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Cinderella Shoes. It's another Cinderella. Uh, teddy Bears. Idol of Spring, another Stitch World. This is a, a company that was very popular a, a while ago. Uh, Dimensions, and this is a almost a kit. It has uh, finishing uh, materials in here. 
So if anybody's doing some stitching for young kids, this is a great packet. So let's call it kids. Yep. K-I-D-S. Sounds good. Kids. Yeah. And the last one is a full kit, Bucilla. Um, uh, like a baby one, our blessing from above, called blessing from above. It's a full kit, threads, fabric, everything. So those are the packets, and you have two weeks to respond because we are not here uh, next week. Correct. So um, that will be great. Oh, toss those in there. Okay. All righty. So, congratulations. So, everybody who won last week, who I called out last week, responded. Their um, packages are, were mailed this week. I sent them tracking numbers. I think everybody should be receiving their packages today. And I'm just hoping we can keep that rolling. <laughs> <laughs> so far, so good? Yes. So everybody who's a winner this week, please look for your comment. Um, I mean, you don't have to wait for the comment, but, you know, if you hear, you watch the video before I make the comment, um, just email us at sunshinestitchers3 at gmail.com. So Terry Brown, Julian Stitches, Betsy Nolan, Miss Miggins, Mrs. Miggins, and Ann Ludzak. Yes. Now, I will tell you, there will be a delay in mailing because I'm leaving town this week. So mm -hmm. it'll wait until the following week before I can mail them out because I, I there's no way I can get to the post office. Yes. Nor, to be fair, will you have time to respond. So, yes. so you'll have, um, your, your packages yes. will, won't be as timely as uh, usual for me. Uh, in their uh, arrival, so. Okay. I think we've said it all. Have we? We're done. I think we are. Don't forget. No, no matter, matter where you are, are the, the sun, sun is always shining when you're stitching. stitching. Bye!